So welcome back to the channel guys i hope you guys are having a good day today i'm going to be going over five god tier weapons that you should be using in black ops 4 and by god tier i mean weapons that just absolutely dominate and melt and delete enemies right off the face of the map now i decided to make this video because black ops 4 life cycle is almost over with a little less than two months left to go we got modern warfare around the corner now before we get into the video there's about 57 percent of you guys who actually watch my videos but you guys probably don't know that you're not subscribed so make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure it's grayed out turn on notifications so you never miss another video from me so let's start off with the rampart here we're going to talk about the class setup first and we're going to talk about what makes it so godly and a couple tips for each weapon and what maps you should be using it on and keep in mind most of the perks and gear are going to be similar so i'm not going to go over them more than once since i've already explained it one time so starting with the rampart if you're choosing an assault rifle you cannot go wrong with the rampart 17. this gun is absolutely amazing it is a dominant machine on any map any range it's definitely going to compete and it's very very mobile it's versatile you can use it with any kind of play style whether you are a rusher reserve type of player the rampart is definitely going to help you win those gunfights so let's go over the class setup real quick we're using high cal 1 high cal 2 then we got grip and fast mags and our gear is going to be stim shot perk 1 there's no perk so we're going to be using crash then for perk 2 we got gung ho so we can fire faster after sprinting and dead sound so that they don't hear my footsteps and i don't hear my own because it's i just find that absolutely distracting so let's talk about what makes this weapon so godly so number one the attachments that it has which is high cal one and high cal two this is what you need in order to make it godly because with these two attachments it makes it a two to three shot kill so that's about two shots to the body one to the head your enemy is dead maybe two shots to the leg one shot to the chest your enemy is dead this gun will compete at any range possible which makes it a godly type of weapon and definitely deserves to be part of this list now the good thing about this class setup is that it's very versatile this gun has no weaknesses maybe close quarter combat in some instances it'll definitely be able to compete with almost any weapon in the game which makes it a true god tier type of weapon and the mobility on it is really great you can really rush around with it you can play aggressive and it'll still be effective as well by the way all these class setups are based on aggressive rushing type of play styles so that's the rampart 17 right there definitely a go-to and a must for almost all black ops 4 players next we have the damon 3xb man this is everybody's kryptonite even mine when people use it against me it's really hard to counter because if it's really really insanely fast time to kill and that's what makes this gun shine the most i feel like this gun shouldn't even be in the game it just almost feels like cheating when you're using it so let's just go over the class setup we got high cal 1 and high cal 2 then we got rapid fire and hybrid mags and for gear we got stim shot perk 1 no perk we got to put on crash so that we can replenish ammo perk 2 is going to be gung-ho and perk 3 is dead silence and by the way you can mix and match these perks for however you like whatever cater it to your play style it's all up to you but this is just my personal preference and what i've found to be successful with and my play style now the thing that makes the daemon 3xb so godly and just it feel like it's just cheating and unfair is the time to kill now the time to kill is very fast at just 200 milliseconds you're gonna be melting through your enemies really fast and the fact that it's an smg and you have that added mobility you're able to dance around your enemies be as quick as possible and outmaneuver them while you're just taking them all out at the same time and that's not even the end of it let's take a look at these attachments here we have everything we need for this to be a dominant weapon which is like i said high cal 1 and high cal 2 which is going to reduce those shots to kill and then rapid fire to reduce the time to kill and then we have hybrid mags which is going to allow us to rush be aggressive and reload our weapon and it comes with extra ammo and that's why the daemon 3xb is a lot of people's kryptonite like i said and a lot of people rage to it you have everything you need in the daemon then we got stim shot to follow the theme of playing aggressive perk one no perks so we're using crash perk two is gung-ho perk three is going to be dead silence you can definitely use it on any single map and this is not a typical smg where you got to take the gunfight to the enemy the great thing about the daemon is that you can even challenge enemies from medium to long range so there's no need to be really sneaky you know and sneak up on your opponents and try to close the gap between you and the opponents there's no need for that you can definitely destroy anybody from any range and that's what makes this gun so godly all right so next up we have the auger dmr let's go over the class setup first i'm rocking reflex sight for my optics then i got 
got high cal one and high cal two for my attachments and we got fast mags as well all right then for gear we got stim shot perk one we're going to be using scavenger perk two is gung ho and perk three is going to be dead sound so the thing with this class setup is you don't need to use crash because we obviously have scavenger you can use any specialist you would like to use all right so let's talk about what makes this gun so godly and why it's part of this list when you put on high cal one and high cal two you essentially make this gun a two shot kill and the time to kill clocks in at an insane 183 milliseconds so that's absolutely crazy and this is definitely a gun that you should definitely go for now the one thing i would have to say about the auger that does have its shortcomings but it's not a very big one is the fact that you need to learn how to play a little bit more reserved you can't just rush around with this like you would with an smg you have to be smart and tactical with how you place and position yourself along the map don't let enemies get too close to you and you will do just fine with it now the other thing about it is that the iron sights are not that great on this gun so i would highly recommend putting on the reflex sight as i did here and that will definitely help you with your aim and that will give you a wider field of vision when you're aiming down sights so that you can see what else is around you in the environment and be ready for that potential gunfight and as for maps go i would definitely recommend using this on medium to larger type of maps this is definitely not a close quarter combat type of weapon you want to use this gun on maps that have long lines of sight so for example that would be icebreaker or that would be jungle or even firing range there are some long lines of sight on firing range that you could take advantage of and use this weapon to its full potential so next up we have the swordfish now the swordfish is a really good choice if you're not into the auger dmr the swordfish is a lot more of a mobile type of tactical rifle that you could opt for if that's your play style and you want to just have a mix of a rushing slash reserve type of play style and that's why i included the swordfish in this godly tier so let's go over the class setup real quick we got hybrid mag so we can reload a lot faster and it comes with extra ammo then we got high caliber so we can reduce that time to kill and we got the pentaburst operator mod which will drill five bullets at a time into an enemy and will give you that really fast time to kill uh, then for gear we got stim shot perk one's going to be scavenger perk two's gung ho and perk three is going to be dead silence so what makes the swordfish so godly is that it kills in as fast as 180 milliseconds that's one burst basically but the caveat to this is that you have to hit all of your shots especially if you're using something like the penta burst you got to make sure you hit all of your shots and then it'll result in a one burst kill which is absolutely crazy this thing melts so fast and the other caveat that you have to worry about is your field of vision because this class setup does not have a wide field of view but if you're the type who doesn't like the default sights on this weapon you could opt for the reflex sight just take out scavenger switch that for the reflex sight and use crash that way you can have a better field of vision and see what's around you while you're using this weapon and it'll definitely be a lot more enjoyable to use if that's your preference on the type of maps you want to use it on you could actually use it on any map but that doesn't mean that you should just use it recklessly and say hey i can one burst people with it i'm just gonna go around the map and just start killing people whenever i see them no you still gotta play smart play tactical pick and choose your gunfights make sure you put yourself in an optimal position to win those gunfights all right and last but not least we do have the vkm 750 this is a really really solid choice for all you lmg players out there or players who like to play a little bit more reserved so let's get into the class setup real quick we got high cal 1 and high cal 2 then we got rapid fire and we got fast mags for gear we got stim shot perk 1 there's no perk gung ho for perk 2 and dead sounds for perk three now the thing about this that makes this weapon godly is the fact that it's a three shot kill you can kill your enemies in as fast as 150 milliseconds that is super quick super fast and of course that's possible because of the high cal one and high cal two and rapid fire attachments rapid fire is essential for this gun because this gun has a really slow rate of fire so putting on rapid fire is going to counteract that and it's going to help out in that department and of course fast mags is also what makes this class setup shine or what makes it so godly because when you think of lmgs they tend to to reload really slowly now this gun in particular it reloads in five seconds that's just way too long in my opinion and you'll probably die before you even get to reload your weapon you know depending on how fast the pace of the gameplay is when you're playing but when you put on fast mags it reduces that time to two seconds only so that's absolutely crazy you get a three shot kill out of this weapon plus you get to reload as fast as two seconds now one thing i do have to say about this gun is that you have to play a little bit more reserved so if you're spreading out the gap between yourself and the enemy that's when you're really going to shine with this weapon because this weapon will just destroy
destroy enemies with three shots only from any distance on any map and not too many weapons are going to be able to compete with this because most weapons they have a damage range fall off at a certain point but the vkm is a three shot kill from any range so you're definitely going to have the upper hand against most opponents and of course don't rush around with it that's my number one rule with lmgs just don't rush around with it like an idiot and of course you want to use this on larger maps definitely try to position yourself where you're in long lines of sights you know don't go into close tight areas expecting to win gunfights because you just simply will not with this gun you know this gun is meant for medium to long range gunfights and that about wraps it up for this video and i picked these as my god tier weapons because they kill super fast and number two they're very well-rounded class setups you know you don't have to sacrifice too much for the weapon to be an all-around type of weapon and of course you want to pick the weapons according to what map you're playing on and you have to take those into consideration as well because you know you don't want to use something like the vkm on a really small map right that just doesn't make sense instead you want to opt for something like the daemon or the rampart those will help you out in smaller maps and then for larger maps like icebreaker you want to use something like the auger swordfish or the vkm you really got to think about those things before you go into a match which weapon is going to be the one to help you be more successful in those games if you did find this video helpful do me a favor drop a like on this video it really helps the channel grow it shows my video to other potential subscribers who might find this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here turn on notifications so you never miss another video from me and i will see you guys in the next video peace if you're looking for a way to enhance your gaming experience check out focus by advanced it's a great supplement tastes really good no crash and it'll keep you focused give you faster reflexes and reaction time you could also use it for when you're at work studying for that test or even to get you focused for working out at the gym head on over to advanced.gg link is in the description and use my code turbo to save 10 percent if you use my code be sure to screenshot it and tweet it at me or tag me on instagram hey guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace